Well, to be honest with you, I didn't really know that reality shows existed still, uh, really. That's, that's how plugged into the entertainment world I am. But my producers informed me that reality shows are still very much a thing. And uh, they're all the rage, in fact. And they had the bright idea to have me watch some reality show trailers and react to them. And I can only assume, because they're the ones who suggested it, that I will hate every minute of this because that's the only type of content they ever do suggest. Uh, because I guess everyone enjoys watching me in pain, watching me suffer. So I've steeled myself. I think I'm ready, as ready as I can be. Let's, uh, let's go. I love you to death, but I just cannot wait any longer. That is why I'm giving this ultimatum. You're here because someone in your relationship has issued an ultimatum. If you're not sure you want to marry your current partner, the risk is that they're going to find someone else who is. I think it's natural to wonder what it would be like to be in a different relationship. You'll each choose a new partner. You'll move in together in a trial marriage. And at the end of this experience, you guys will have to choose to marry the person you've arrived here with or to split forever. Today we get to move in with someone completely different. Living with a guy that's not you will be a weird change. How do you feel about me sleeping in the bed? <laughs> uh -huh. Are you nervous to meet my dad? Hope they don't grill me too hard. Hi. Hey. So this is the first time I felt like, okay, this guy's okay. From what he said about you, I was not happy about this at all. This is our first morning back together. We came here as a couple, but it's about figuring out what's best as individual people. Okay. I'm already 20 points, 20 IQ points dumber, and we just started. I'm gonna be a I'm gonna be a sea sponge by the end of this thing. We'll give you the new member initiation. Welcome, Welcome to, to our club. Club. Welcome Welcome to our club. What is even the premise here? So you've got, you've got, uh, what's his name? Joey Fatone hosting this and you've got couples who want to get married. And so they come on a reality show and they shack up with somebody else for a while on camera to find out if they should marry the other person. Is that, do I have this right? We want to get married and to find out if we should get married, we're going to go on a, we're going to go and live with somebody else on a, well, I can answer the I can answer the question for you right now. You shouldn't get married. Okay, spoiler. All of you are awful. Um, none of you should get married. You should all move into the wilderness by yourselves and save society from having to endure your presence. That's what should happen here. That's what needs to happen. How is it that reality shows are dumber now than I remember them being? I think I just, I, I couldn't handle living in a world where this kind of stuff exists. So I blocked it out of my mind and I, and I, went, to a, I went to my safe space, my happy space. And now, um, now I have to confront this, and it's even worse than I remember. But uh, let's, uh, let's watch the next one. I've met the person I want to spend the rest of my life with. I've never seen her before. Here, you will choose someone to marry. Hello. Nice to hear from you. Okay. Can't say see ya. Without ever seeing her. If you're ready to find the love of your life. Game time. The pods are now open. What kind of work do you do? So what are some of your biggest turnoffs? So what are you looking for in a woman? Ethnicity, race, physical appearance. None of that matters. I'm really starting to emotionally connect with you. This could be a remarkable love story. You're a beautiful person. I don't have to see you to say that. I'm scared of making the wrong decision. Can't see my life without you. Will you be my wife? I am engaged to somebody I've never seen before. I hope he's just find me very attractive. Can they just can they just lock the cubes and just leave them in there? We can watch them slowly starve to death. That would be a reality show. And does Joey Fatone host all these shows now? I thought he was dead. I don't know. They have him chained up in a basement somewhere and they bring him out like the gimp in Pulp Fiction whenever there's a new Netflix reality show. And I say new reality show, but really there, there has never been a new reality show, I think. All these ideas are just versions of each other. What about American Idol, but they have to write their own songs? Love it. Oh, uh, what about American Idol, but they have to write their own songs? Love it. We're going to match a bunch of attractive people up and have them get married, even though they haven't seen each other. I wonder what will happen. We know what will happen. They'll get divorced by next Thursday. That's what's going to happen. Second of all, the drama and suspense is taken out, right? Because they're all relatively attractive. I mean, that's what this is all about. It's like, well, what does a person look like? Are they, I mean, for a concept like this to work, you, you need to mix in some, some ugly ducklings. They need to be in this mix here. So you should have like a guy who's 600 pounds and they wheel him out on a forklift for the big reveal. You've already gotten married and you're married to a 600 pound guy on a forklift. That would be high drama. Instead, everybody is in the seven to nine range as far as physical looks go. 
So the show is... What will happen when these sevens to nines meet other sevens to nines? Nothing interesting. I can already tell you that. Yeah, I'll be honest, guys. This job uh, gets really hard sometimes. All day long, I watch, debunk, and cancel stupid people. Some days, my producers make me sit behind this desk for hours on end watching purple-haired weirdos attempt to explain their gender-neutral pronouns to me. It's no easy task, and uh, the only way that I've found to cope with all this torture is with Hallow. Hallow is the number one Christian prayer app in the US. It's like Calm or Headspace, but rooted in Catholic faith as opposed to the religion of leftism. Hallow offers over 5,000 audio guided prayers, meditations, and Christian music tracks. Some of the most popular daily prayers are the daily rosary, gospel reading, or the daily psalm with Bishop Barron, and so much more. Hallow helps me find peace and calm throughout the day, even as crazy leftists yell at me through a tiny screen. Go to hallow.com slash Matt Walsh and get an extended three month free trial during which you'll have access to all 5,000 plus meditations and prayers. That's hallow.com slash Matt Walsh for three months free. Reclaim your peace in this crazy world. Download Hallow today. <sighs> okay, continue. Deep in the remote jungles of Colombia, a new species has been spotted at the watering hole. Humans, a rare sight in this habitat. These humans are using animal mating techniques in their search for true love and are forbidden to speak to one another. Not talking sucks. My inner animal is an otter because they're super playful. I'm a tiger, I have a big appetite. I'm trying to eat. Ducks are kind of like majestic, but also kind of goofy. I feel like I'm a mix between the two. Got my feeling, got my feeling, got my okay, things about to get interesting, a little spicy. It was very weird, but very sexy and weird. I think this is our new fetish for me. I guess mating rituals work because I've never been so attracted to Stefan before. <laughs> uh, I want to be dead. I just want to be dead now. Um, I'm in such deep despair in this moment. And it's not even how stupid the show is. Like, it's, that's not the problem. It's that people, I assume, watch this, and those people are among us. They walk among us. They, they vote. They drive. It's possible that I've accidentally been polite to somebody who watches this show. Well, probably not me. I have not polite to anybody. But, you know, it's still, God help us. But why should God help us? We've forsaken him. So why should he help us? All right, go ahead. What's up, y'all? It's Lizzo. I'm looking for dancers to join me on my tour. Girls that look like me don't get representation. Time to pull up my sleeves and find them myself. <laughs> <laughs> we think and we pretty and we know what we doubt. It's the battle of the big girls. To be a background dancer for Lizzo would just mean everything. <laughs> it's showtime. Hey, ladies! What do we have in store? This is the fun part. I'm always doubting myself, and I feel like that has been detrimental in how I approach dance. You know, this is how bad it's gotten. That's actually refreshing compared to the others. Lizzo and a bunch of obese dancers in thongs and spandex that is, that's a sight for sore eyes compared to what we saw before. Compared to the mental sewage that came before it. You know what I really want to see? I want to see the contestants of that show mixed in with the contestants on the Love is Blind show. That's the show I want to see, okay? I want to see one of the guys on the Love is Blind. He falls in love. Oh, looks don't matter. I don't care. Because he's assuming, he knows it's a reality show. He, assume, he assumes it's some dime that he's, he's going to be matched up with. And then, and then one of these back, Lizzo background dancers comes out, 300 pounds in spandex. That is one marriage that will stay together. He can't, there's nothing he can do because he has to, he, he has to be like body affirming. And so he's going to be stuck in this marriage forever now. <laughs> this person, that would, be, that would be fun. Okay, go ahead. I don't want to be doing this with anyone but you. This is the first time in a long time that I'm open to love. Spending time with you and getting to know you. It just feels natural. So what are you guys expecting from this island? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess that means Too Hot to Handle is back. Oh my god! I know that as No kissing. Oh. No heavy petting. What? And no sex of any kind. 
This is Lana, the ultimate cock block. Let's get nasty! Each time the rules are broken, money will be deducted. I kissed Izzy yesterday. You don't keep me! I love bad boys. You are the bad boy. Play the role. Can I call my mom? I want to go home. Let's get... Uh, I don't say this to be cruel or mean, but watching that trailer, I have never in my life rooted for a tsunami so much. Just a 100-foot tidal wave crashing through, cleansing the land. That's my idea for a reality show. Get all these kinds of people onto an island. Tell them it's a reality show called, like, uh, Boob Island or whatever. And then set off a tidal wave. Not to kill them. I, I wouldn't wish that on anybody. I, 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 wouldn't, I, just, I just mean to startle them a little bit. Maybe wash some of the herpes and genital crabs off. And um, if anybody drowns in the process, that was not the intention for legal purposes anyway. I'm in a bad mood now. I'm upset by this. I feel drained and exhausted. And I'm dumber. I actually I feel that I am dumber than I was at the start. Maybe this last one will be, this will be a bright spot to end on, maybe. We can, we can hope. The Honorable or the Honorable Judge of the CTN. <laughs> the people are real, the cases are real, and the judgments are legally binding. I'm fully naked under here. <laughs> I think that's the hardest part about being a judge. It's so hot. This is Chrissy's court. Chrissy, Chrissy! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first of all, nothing happens in that show at all. Like, that's the trailer for it. And the one highlight is Chrissy Teigen saying she's naked. That's like if I went to a restaurant and I said, I said that the highlight of the restaurant, my restaurant experience, was that the chicken was undercooked and gave me food poisoning. If that's the highlight, how low is the low light is the question. This is what I want. I want a judge show where I'm the judge and everybody gets the death penalty for coming on the show. The death penalty. The death penalty. For, everybody. for everybody. The fact that you would come to a judge show in the first place to settle your problem means you deserve the death penalty. This has gotten really dark, hasn't it? My mind is in a dark place. And um, you can thank my producers for that, for all of this. This is all their fault. Okay, let's stop now. I'm done. I'm ready.